All right, so that was my little test on the Iron Man A Matter of Life and Death ESP LTD M10 using Guitar Fetish's multi-switching for, uh, I guess they call it hot rodding your guitar, going for from a you know, just a normal output to an extreme distortion output, different stages at a time. To me, it sounds pretty good, um, but my playing cannot do this justice. Maybe somebody else's playing can do more justice to this than uh, I could do because of the fact that I've been working on these more than I've been actually playing them. I like the effects. I like how you could basically, you know, open up a clean, have a clean cab, clean head, and not have a shitload of pedals, but yet have some options. Um... I like how I could just set my computer up for the, with the interface and plug it in, bring up Amplitude 5, and use whatever cab comes up without having to go into a list of shit and just use the switch on here to get whatever tone I'm looking for. Now, mind you, what I was using and what I was showing, uh, it was basically just a simple head, a little bit of reverb. There was a um, noise gate on there, but it wasn't turned up a lot. It was just kind of like, just barely. The only thing that I had where I had some good buzzing coming from was when I pulled the switch to turn the humbucker into a single coil. That's not really that big of a deal. But what is a big deal is I had to wire the guitar to the interface in order for this to work instead of using my NUX wireless system. This was giving me a pretty loud noise. I wouldn't call it feedback, but it was giving me a pretty good noise to where I wasn't unable to use that. And it's kind of a downer to me because I kind of like to, you know, keep those things charged up, plug them in, you know, you don't have a couple of wires all over the place. You got a headphone wire, maybe, maybe not. Sometimes I use uh, wireless headphones at the same time and have no problems. But this switch here, this switching here, now it is shielded. The cavity is shielded. Behind the pickup is shielded. This is not an active system. This is not an active pickup. It really shouldn't be giving me any type of a feedback. Now, Maybe because I have the clear cover on the back and it's not completing a, um, a perfect shield around the electronics. Maybe that's the case. I don't know. I'm not going to take things apart and find out. But most of the time everyone is wired and plugged into whatever they like to plug into and play that way. So, But to me this is kind of a big letdown. Anybody who wants, or if I work on anybody's guitar and stuff, anybody who wants this circuit, I am going to let them know what it does if you go wireless and uh, you know, let them know what it does when you remove the battery. When you remove the battery, this guitar is just a pass-through. There is no, uh, there is sound. It's just straight coming from the humbucker. You know, your volume and tone still work, but this switch is obsolete on all channels. So you won't have any control over, it's just a clean signal coming out of your guitar unless you're using some type of effects loop with your head or cab or whatever you're using to play with. So that's my story, I'm sticking to it. Um, it's kind of a nice guitar. I'm glad that I was able to build this. I have, I don't know how many more albums to go through now uh, before I can complete the whole series of the Iron Maiden guitars. I kind of like using the flat tops with this. I can use a arch top if I want to. It's not that much of a big deal to do this. It's just easier on a flat top guitar with an armrest or without an armrest. It's just a lot easier to add the fabric to that. So I'm out of here. You guys have a good one. I hope you guys' weekend is uh, going really good and you guys got to get out and enjoy some of the uh, decent weather that we had today. It wasn't really that cold, but uh, it's supposed to get a little bit better in Illinois. You guys rock on. Take it easy.